Hello everyone, Science Freak 500 here. In this video, I'll be showing you the principles behind doing an inverse kinematic system and also uh, the foot placement, which is what we'll be talking about for the rest of the series. Um, but before I do that, a big shout out to Alex3D. Um, he helped a lot uh, with his posts on the forum page in developing the system, and he also created um, <clears throat> something in the asset store or the Unreal Marketplace, I should say, um, that has to do with wall climbing and foot placement, vaulting, uh, other different like parkour mechanics and adventure game type stuff. So definitely check that out. Okay, now to describe what an inverse kinematic system actually is. Uh, let's say you have your character over here. And this, let's say, this is your 3D model of the character. Um, when you bring it into a 3D modeling program, you have the bones. And so the bones are, when, when the animator goes in, that's what actually makes your character moving. And that happens through skinning. You skin the model to the bones so that it's attached and you can move the structure. It uses the process of what's called forward kinematics which means that if you want your model to move his arm up, you're essentially telling the bones in a hierarchy, in a hierarchy type um, order. So let's say this is the root bone, and it goes this way, at least for the arms. For the legs, it's a little bit different. But if you want your arm to move, let's say, upwards like this, you're actually moving this one first and then this one and then this one so that overall the overall structure would be something like let's say that but with inverse kinematics what you're doing instead is actually going the reverse so you're saying uh, you're basically telling the program hey uh, you have this object over here that you I want the character to reach for I want the hand to be as close to this object as possible and so what the program will do is it'll move this and then this and then this so on and so forth to where the hand will pretty much be like so um so that's inverse kinematics it's really important in terms of grabbing objects and first is uh as a matter of fact it's used um in rpg games <coughs> for grabbing like a sword or a cup or actually having your hand placed on the item um, that you're grabbing for. Um, it's going to be used in foot placement. Uh, climbing systems to grab like specific rocks or ledges is pretty important for. So it has, it has many uses. Um, now to talk about what we're actually going to be doing on the foot placement system. So we have our stairs over here <laughs> these are huge stairs for the character but let's just use this as an example um, so we have this over here and what we're essentially going to be doing is doing two two ray traces that goes through the feet and down to a certain length and checking for the floor and so in the case where um, let's say the stairs is like this and then it goes down more what these ray trace will where what these uh, traces will do is it will detect this hit point over here and then this point over here and it will do two things the first one is we need to move the character because there's only so long that the leg is going to be moving if it stretches like this that's very unrealistic um, so because it can only move up to this point, we have to move the entire character down to the lower one. Um, so in essence, we'll be doing this to the character. Oh no, let's redo that again. Okay, we'll be doing this to the character for one leg, and then the second leg will be actually moving this one so that it targets the surface so that the foot 
ends up falling over here. Um, and that's used through the inverse kinematics because just like the hand example, um, we have the specific point in the foot and this is our target location. And so what the engine will end up solving for is getting that bone to arrange there and bending like the knee and all that other stuff so that it looks more or less like that. Um, the specific way that we're going to do this is by getting the uh, essentially the half height of the capsule, which is the collision sphere or the the collision cylinder um, that's around the player, and starting the ray trace right here, approximately about a quarter of the way, and then going straight through the x and y axis of the foot down to a certain distance. For for my um, for the example, I have it going down 150 units. Um, I thought that it worked. Now in the case where, let's see if I can back up enough, the case where the, um, the character is too tall for the floor, so basically if this happens, if there's, let's say, the step here and then after that point it's like a cliff, and, and the uh, trace doesn't hit anything, then we're actually going to disable the kinematic thing. Otherwise, it's going to read an error and just jet off in the zero zero direction, which is not good. Uh, so it's going to disable this foot, and you'll just see this kind of awkward hovering in the middle of the air that you'd expect from a video game. But that's okay. Um, so in a way, this is what we're going to be doing. Um, I hope that drawing this gives you an idea of really just the principle behind inverse kinematics and foot placement and how it's used in some of these AAA games. Going on to the next tutorial, we'll be starting to set up our player, getting uh, specific sockets attached to bones set up um, so that we can begin with the system. So stay tuned.